everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to, yeah, little leg line wood, back again, back at it again. Today we are in the bathroom as you can tell. Uh, today we're going to run through the review for last weekend's uh, score and prediction. And then also on the same video we are going to predict this weekend's Premier League prediction. Obviously, sorry about it, no match review for Arsenal's game at uh, Monday, just gone. We are through the FA Cup quarterfinals and we have got Sheffield United in the quarterfinals. Which, you know, I'm not feeling confident, you guys and all that. Uh, I might do a preview for uh, Arsenal's game tomorrow. I might, I might not, I don't know. I've got a lot, just a lot of stuff to record today. So if you notice it is daylight, <laughs> you know we're recording it dark. But today, we do, thought we'd do it daylight. Uh, so yeah, if you see us stressing down again, don't worry, I'm hoping not to get it back on the camera again. We are going to got a lot of videos to be called today. Uh, this one will be premiere, as always. Uh, hopefully it'll be premiere anyway, but if not, it doesn't have a matter, does it really? But, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to show you some screen captures, some stuff like that. We're going to do our screen capture, our original screen capture, a one for last weekend's predictions and whatever we got right and whatever we didn't get right. Hopefully that one won't be too long. And then we're going to move on to the week, this week's games, obviously. Right, without further ado, let's get a little bit bigger on those skis on the ice. Welcome. Welcome. We're on the other side now, so obviously, unfortunately, like I say, ignore the other the other water maps at the side of your screen and that. Uh, I will try my best to try and not mess it up. And we're going to go on to the uh, Premier League for the last week thing, so just a one through. We can't look at the table, look at everything else, but we will look at the table later on and we go through like what, what, whatever's happening maybe. So, uh, my prediction for Norwich versus Wesker, I went for the 3 1, 3 1 to Wesker. So, Norwich 1, Wesker 3. Obviously, you can see it on your screen right now, you can not finish that bit, finish 1 0. So, unfortunately, 0 points. Right, I, I will try my best. To run through it as fast and possible way as I can. Uh, let me just get uh, come off there. Come on, you stupid tagler. Sorry about this, guys. I, I I will try. I will like right, say so I will try my best. So I just right. I will run it through this way and so go actually quick and on the video. So up next we have Bright. Sorry, got my gear card and dropped my five way we in the freaking uh, thing. Uh, up next we got Brighton versus Crystal Palace. I I I went for Brighton Neil Crystal Palace one as you can see on your screen top one. It gave finish up there, finish one year to Crystal Palace. So I get three points for that one. Moving on to Bournemouth. I will try and scroll up as best as I can there. We're only going to go up to Watford, so don't worry. Go and panic. Uh let's get rid of that. There we go. Right, so up next is Bournemouth versus uh, Chelsea. I went for Bournemouth uh one. Sorry, Bournemouth nil, Chelsea three. Obviously, as you can see, it did not finish that late. Finish two two, so I guess they will point again. Moving on to Newcastle versus Burnley. Uh, it was a nil nil draw, as you can see. I went for Newcastle one, Burnley nil, so I guess they will point once again. Moving on to West Ham versus uh, Southampton. I went West Ham two, Southampton nil. As you can see on your screen, it did not finish that late. Finish three one to West Ham. Moving on to uh, oh, the game, what shocked me actually, sorry I'm a fucking slow coach. You know, the game what shocked me, not Aston Villa, I'm not looking at that. Uh, the game what shocked me is Everton versus uh, Manchester City, that was a one all draw as you, you guys can find out. Obviously I went for Everton 2, Man United 1, so it didn't finish that way as you can see, so I guess they were point. Uh, moving on to uh, Tottenham Osberg. Sorry, hang on, it, it, we're fucked up here. Yeah, Tottenham Oxford, got Alan for Tottenham 1, Wolves 3. Obviously, they came from the shop where. I, I've got Liverpool somewhere, which shocked me as well. I don't know, let's have a see. Sorry, I think I'm messed up here. Yeah, so Watford versus Liverpool. Uh, I think we went too far. Let's go back. Sorry, guys, about this, man. Fucking hell. What we doing here, man? What we doing? So as you know, uh, Crystal Palace and Brighton, I did get right. Uh, Bournemouth versus Chelsea, I got one, obviously. Uh, yeah. So Watford versus Liverpool, I went for Watford uh, one, Liverpool four. 
that's the one what shocked me this bottom one here let's try and click on it uh, this one shocked me and shocked quite a lot of people Watford beaten Liverpool's unbeaten one so no gold trophy for them so let's wait right. it's very hard you know to you know everyone makes mistakes everyone does but it's very hard when you got loads of games and you you don't know what way you're coming or going Right, we're well, back on track now, so don't worry. So Everton versus Man United, Garland for Everton 2, Man United 1. Obviously, give him a shot with finish 1-1, one, one, as you can see. Premier League, look at Premier League. Uh, Tottenham versus uh, Wolves, I went for Tottenham 1, Wolves 3. Obviously, give him a shot with finish Tottenham 2, Wolves 3. So, I got, not, not bad, but worse than last week. Not last weekend, the weekend before, because the weekend before I got 12 out of 30. Don't forget, two games have been postponed due to Aston Villa being in the uh, Carabao Cup final and uh, Man City being in the Carabao Cup final as well. Uh, so yeah, if you want to know any other games like Scottish Leagues and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, we might do that later on in the future, but at the moment we're talking about the Premier League. So tables, let's have a nosy at the tables. So yeah, like I was saying, why that's one up. I got five out of eight points for this week. Not bad, because the two games were called off. Obviously Liverpool, uh, unbeaten record is come to a close. Arsenal going to be sitting 10th. Don't forget we've got the game in hand with Manchester, Manchester City. Um, is it, is it Wednesday or first game? I'm not, 11th, 11th of uh, this month. So I might do like a, a, a Skyline Kitchen special for that game, uh, but it, you won't see the screen capture or anything like that. So, Liverpool, League away, Man City in second, uh, Leicester in third, Chelsea in fourth. Go to get fifth, fifth spot could be up, up for grabs for the Champions League spot, because Man City are banned from Europe. So... Whether I get that turned around, I don't know, you guys don't know, I don't know anything, so, you know. And at the bottom of the table is Bournemouth, Aston Villa and Knowledge. We should have seen my Premier League table prediction, I give up Knowledge at the bottom, but I'm quite shocked at this table. Right, I'll pause it and I'll see you in a Right, so, can Liverpool win tomorrow? Can it win tomorrow? Well, he's on the scoreline prediction is for match day 29. So, Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Uh, let's give you an uh, odds here. Where's the odds? So, these are the team news for Liverpool. We're one, we only won two games out of five games. That is in all competitions, by the way. So, we basically lost three and three. And, uh, yeah. Bournemouth, however, uh, drew their last game with a lost game against uh, Watford and a lost again at Atletico Madrid. So, I don't know if that's fucking correct, but is our team scats? It is on Beauty Sport 1 if anyone is interested in watching that game tomorrow at 12.30pm kickoff. UK time, England, UK. So, so, Watford are not on farm and Liverpool are not on farm at the moment. Sorry, Bournemouth are not on farm and Liverpool are not on farm. Head to head for these two, uh, Liverpool have won all 10 games, so we only drawn one, and uh, Bournemouth only won one game. Last time out, Liverpool did beat Bournemouth 3 0. 3 goals 3 0. So, you know what? I am going to go for nearly enough the same scoreline, but I, will f I do think Bournemouth are going down. I am going to go Liverpool 4. Bournemouth nil. I think a will bounce back and uh, like to say I'm it down as we're going along with it together. So moving on to the second game of ignore the top one we go through as it. As my team Arsenal versus uh, West Ham, this is a difficult game. Uh, none of us are not on form and as you know it's not on the fucking TV. So Arsenal have only only lost one game out of five games in all competitions. These are all our games, obviously. Where West Ham, however, they they lost three games, drew one, and won one game. Head to head for us two is uh, Arsenal have won fourteen games, one you drawing two, and uh, win two. Last time out, we beat the West Ham three goals to one. 
this time out though, I am going to go for a little bit different. I think it will only be 2-1. Don't forget new manager in charge, you know. I think Arsenal 2, West Ham 1. That's my score and prediction for that game. Uh, like I say, sorry if it's near either of birds, it is like it. I'm moving on to Crystal Palace versus Watford. These two, Max Gats, uh, Crystal Palace have only won two games out of all five in all conditions. However, with Watford, they won one game out of the last five ga games. Excuse me. The last three and only drew one. However, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace have uh, head to head for these two. Crystal Palace have won eight games as one five and ring five. Last time out, it was nil nil. Uh, so my prediction for this one is going to be a tough one and like I said I am going through it as I am with you what now uh, For this game I am going to go for a boring young no draw I think it will be the same Watford however have beaten the champion, maybe the champions of the Premier League I don't know but I can't see them losing all in games uh, But however I am going to go for it nil to Crystal Palace I'm gonna go one 0 to Watford. I think Watford will nick it. Just, just, just nick it. However, but you know, it is what it is. Um, move these are all Saturday games, by the way. Still, uh, moving on to Sheffield United, who are in good form. Greatly, Sheffield United. My God, who the gig is Sheffield United to be in the top eight at least? I didn't. I put Sheffield United in the relegation zone. But these two are also in the relegation battle, they need to start picking up points, otherwise it's just not going to happen. I can't see Norwich beating Sheffield United, to be honest with you, because they're AL or AR on form. Last five games for Sheffield United, they have won all four games and only drew one. So, you know, these are the last five games in all competitions. However, Watford, uh, Norwich, should I say, they lost two games, so drew two and only won one game. Head to head for these two. Uh, Sheffield United have won three, a draw, only drawn one, and Norwich have only won three games. So this one is hard if you put it on paper. Last time out, Sheffield United did beat Norwich two goals to one. For my score and prediction uh, at, at, the, uh, at whatever ground Sheffield United is, I've, uh, I've forgotten the name of the ground, but. I will find that ground out. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to need to. I am going to go for Sheffield. I think Sheffield United will be acknowledged. No, no problem. I'm going to go for a three goals to nil. So Sheffield United three, knowledge nil. Relegation scrap still on going. Moving on to Southampton versus the Jordies. Newcastle United. So let's have a look at Southampton's uh, last five games and Newcastle's last five games. Southampton, however, they have lost all four games. They've only won, uh, only won one game out of the last five games in all competitions. However, Newcastle have won two games and they've drawn one game and they've obviously lost two games in all competitions. However, Southampton have won five games have drawn four together and Newcastle have won four games out of, out of everything. Uh, last time out for Newcastle, uh, beat, uh, New, uh, beat Southampton two goals to one. Uh, for this game, this round I think it's going to be a little bit different at the St Mary's Stadium. I think Southampton will beat Newcastle. Uh, I could see, I, I can see this game being a draw. I really can. Uh, I think it'll be a draw. So I am going to go for my gut instinct, I'm going to go for it 1-1 one, one draw. I think it will be a draw, but yeah, it's going a bit of fun, isn't it? Uh, you know, it's going a little bit of fun. However, Wolves are doing really, really well in the, uh, in the Europa League. Obviously, Arsenal are now kicked out of Europa League. So, obviously, another free cock game, but yeah. Wolves, however, it is in all competitions. They drew one, 
the one, the last three games and he only lost one game. This is in all competitions. However, for Brighton, they have not won a game at all. We drew the last three, we lost the last one. We only lost two games and drew the other three. Head head for Wolves and Brighton. However, Wolves are not too good with Brighton, the Wolves East, the Wolves side. But however, we could beat Tottenham, so we'll be going into this game. Confidence and confidence needs to be strong. However, head out for his crew. Uh, Wolves only won their previous three games for me, so we're drawing six together, and right now have won all four games. Last time on Brighton and Wolves, gig, it was a 2 2 draw. I am not going to go for a draw. I think Wolves will be Brighton. I don't know how many goals yet, but let me write the five and then I'll tell you. I've been Brighton, I've been Brighton, I think there's goals in it, I think there's goals in this game, but I'm going to go for Wolves to nick it. I think it'd be Wolves 3, Brighton 1. Don't know what makes me think that, but you know, you've got to go where you got things completely. You know, you just you just have to go where you got things but you, you know how it is. Burnley versus Tottenham Hotspur. The squares, as I like to call them. At Burnley and Tottenham. So, last time up for these two. These are in all competitions. Burnley have only won their last two games out of all competitions. Wow, that's, that's, that's disappointing. However, Tottenham, on your hand, Jose Mourinho's side, have lost the last three games and only drawn one. And we only won one game in all competitions. That is in five previous three games. However, for his two head heads, Tottenham are, are walking away with this one. Uh, Burnley have only won one game and the drawn three together and the Tottenham, however, won all seven games. However, Tottenham got spared last time I did beat, well, I won't say beat, but the gig flash for Burnley. Five goals to nil. I think it, uh, Jose Mourinho, I don't think Jose Mourinho is the right man for Tottenham Hotspur. I really do not think that at all. Uh, but it is what it is, and I am not going to go for the same result. I think it's going to be high gap to Murray, and I think it's going to be top, Burnley 1, Tottenham 2. I think Tottenham will bounce back. Oh, there we go. If, we go, if, we, if Tottenham get beat by Burnley, I won't know why. I'm going to some of games. I don't, I, I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I have one. But, you know, it is what it is. Also, it, it is the Manchester Derby this weekend. The big game for Manchester. But we will move on to that when we get there, ladies and gentlemen. We will move on to that. So, Chelsea, in all competitions, bet only won two games, or draw, drawn one and lost two. However, Everton, a drawn one, won two, lost one, and drew one. And that was uh, with Manchester United last weekend. Now, you expect Chelsea to beat Everton. Uh, but here, new manager for Everton. I can't remember his fucking name. Pots, Pochettino, I think he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm useless with games. When it comes to games, I am quite useless. So... What do you guys think uh, is going to prediction will be for this game? For me, I'm going to go for the Everton win. I think Everton will pull the chicken around. However, Frank Lampard's Chelsea are really, really good side. That's that. Uh, I'll, I will run through the head-to-head first and uh, I will give you a yes go on kitchen, obviously. You will see it on the, on, underneath the uh, 2 o'clock. Obviously, it kicks off a two. Chelsea have won all 11 games, we're drawing six together, and Everton won seven. Uh, last time out, Everton did beat Chelsea three goals to one. I think it'd be the same, but I'm not going to go for I think it could be a draw. It could not be a draw. But here, I'm going to go for a Chelsea one. Everton. I think, I think Elton, I think this one's got to arm with no offer, so I am going to go for 8 one, one draw. Could be one, could be like, who knows, it's called a bit of fun. Uh, you know what, you know me, I like to have a bit of fun, but I have thought no the predictions down, so next week we will come to, to re review 
And also, yes, one the big game of the weekend is Manchester United versus Man City. Head to head, for, let's have a look at the match facts first. Manchester United go on force, uh, Man City are on force as well. Manchester United have won all three games, so they're unbeaten in the last five. However, Man City coming into this game have won all their last five games. I think that's the first time we've seen a queen playing skate with ring, 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 ring. Hopefully Man City will get the job done here. I think also Man City versus Man United head to head. Let's have a look at a head to head first. And then we will give you a score and prediction. Very, very close head to head. Man United won your own drawn only drawn three at the previous meetings and Man City have won all three games. Last time out Man United did beat Man City one goal to nil. I think it'd be a same repeat, I'll go for Man City are not as good as what they used to be a couple of years ago, two years ago. I think they're still strong, but I can't see in caption Liverpool. I think it I think this game could go out of the way. It could be a draw, it could be it could be two two, it could be three all, it could be six six. Who knows? It could be anything, but this is a scoreline prediction, it's called a bit of fun. So uh, for me, um you know this is a tough one. I'm got, I want to go for Man City because I can't scan United. Honestly, I just do not like Man United. I hope I get beat against uh, European thingy pops. Also, on the channel, I'll let you know later on after this video. Two seconds. I think this one, I'm going to go for Man United nil. I'm going to go for Man United 1, sorry. And uh, Man City. I think Man City will beat United or here we go. Well, United could beat Man City either way. That game could go either way, like I say. Hung off. Moving on to the last game of Match Case 29. It is Wesker versus Aston Villa. Uh, it's fun. Same again. I will run through everything like we always do. Uh, my Lesker have won one game out of the out of the last five games. Hello, Aston Villa have lost four games only won one. Wow, that is that is really really disappointing for for a team like Lesker and Aston Villa. This is this has got Lesker written all over it. I think this has got Lesker written all over it. I'm sorry. Let's, this is a very interesting one. Let's go. I've won three games, so John two, and Gask and Villa won three games. So it's really even game if you're putting on paper, but I think let's go will walk away. I'm going to go for three now to let's go. I'm sorry, I, I think it'd be three now to let's go. So let's go three, ask and Villa now. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, tables and get uh, a little bit better. So you guys can have a nosy at the tables and uh, uh, so yeah, it's same as last time. So if my score prediction, we could be, you know, we could be pretty close to the top fifth, fifth place. Uh, you know, it's a one way off and uh, let's say teams have got knowledge in the relegation zone as always. I think Bournemouth will go again as well and Gaston will go. So there we are boys and ladies and gentlemen, that is my score and prediction. Thank you so so much for watching, I will hang you back over to uh, where the leg line would. Hello, welcome back. Uh, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it was a bit long if you are watching to the end. I, I do apologise but we want to make it as best as possible. We've got smoky fucking here. Go away, will you please? Just go away. Let me just move that out of the way, skin my bloody ball ball. Right, so if you are new we are we are on to Footnine. We've got Footnine subscribers, can you hit the subscribe button? It's free of charge to do. It'll be a max rate of free shit and let me know in the scot in the score line. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the video and let me know the best parts of your video of this video. If you enjoyed, might you say, always smash a like or a dislike. It's up to you. I go, I go beg, but I wanna, I wanna try and get to at least fifty subscribers. So, how many subscribers by the end of the year? Can we, can we do it? Yeah, I think we can. I think Jimmy Sparks can do it. 
Uh, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It is absolutely free of charge. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And uh, you will never ever miss an episode of the Family League Scoring Prediction or anything what we do bring out. If you're going to subscribe, please, if you're going to subscribe, come back to the channel. Go and just subscribe and go and bother coming back. Subscribe and come back. You know, it, it is what it is. Subscribe, come back. I've got 49 subscribers. So if you want to hit that up, uh, please subscribe if you feel free to. It is free to charge. And if you're going to subscribe, make sure you do come back to the channel. Go and just subscribe and just think that. No point now. Come back or if you are going to subscribe. No point subscribing if you're not going to come back. Thank you so, so much for watching. We uh, match get Premier League match get 29 predictions. I hope you all enjoy Man Manchester Derby. I think Man City will be Man United. I really do. Uh, so, yeah. Manchester Derby. Big games. Some weird games. But if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. We'll be all seeing you next one pretty soon. Good night. I wanna be everything a man's mind.